trying to tell you mm -hmm. that this my girl, best graduating student. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've got the best daughter in the world. Of course. And I got the best mother. Oh, oh this child. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but anyway, like I was trying to tell you that thing. One second. Yeah? Let me use the washroom. Oh, okay. I'm going to taste your food because I don't know <laughs> what ahead, you were eating at this time of the night. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, not bad. Oh. Okay. I want peanuts now. You want peanuts with chips? It's my food. Oh, right, I'm sorry. I'll get your peanuts. Excuse me. Sorry, can I have peanuts? Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. Fedora, no, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Fedora, what are you doing? I told you about that. It's okay. Man. It's fine. It wasn't entirely my fault. I wasn't looking. I was on my phone. It's okay. I'm sorry. Please. I'm really sorry. Oh, it's fine. Like, Fair Davis. April. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> What are you doing in Lagos? The last time I checked, you were in ABG. Abuja, I was about to ask you the same question. What are you doing in Lagos? <laughs> oh, please. Oh, sorry, this is my best friend, Tolu, and her beautiful daughter, Fedora. Oh, I just met them. Oh. Nice to meet you, <laughs> <laughs> Tolu. Nice to meet you, Mofe. Uh, yes, Mofe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know what? Why, why don't we all do dinner soon? I huh? would. I actually love that. Yes. Well, <laughs> we eat dinner at seven and would be very pleased to have you over. By the way, my mom is a great cook. <laughs> you can ask Auntie April. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you. If your mother would permit, uh, I'll take you off. Oh, she wouldn't mind. Then it's a date. Yes, it is. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to host you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's go back to our. Okay. Yeah. I know. So, what do you think about Mofa? What do I think about him? How? God, you're so pretentious. <laughs> I saw the look on your face when he shook your hand. <laughs> you were literally blushing. Literally blushing. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I don't blush. <laughs> <laughs> look, for the record, I'm not interested in your friend. He's not my type. Coughing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that one. <laughs> <laughs> April! <laughs> something for you oh I'm not accustomed to accept gifts from strangers but I'm not a stranger if you know my name uh, thank you thank you you're welcome <laughs> good evening ladies uh -huh. thank you for joining us thank you for inviting me to dinner thank you for coming well shall we down. What do we have here? Jell of rice. Yeah. Ah, it looks good. <laughs> wow. 
Thank you for the meal. You're welcome. Can I um, ask you a personal question? I don't like personal questions. And if I feel uncomfortable or I feel it's too early, I will say so. Totally understandable. <laughs> you know, I um, saw a picture of you and a man in fedora in your living room. And I see a wedding band on your hand, but you haven't said anything about a husband. Uh, is everything okay with you guys? Hey, 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 I'm sorry if my question kind of brings back uh, bad memories, please. Uh, you don't have to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I'd rather not. And I thought you were only going to take a few minutes. <laughs> and now I'm already getting sidelined. <laughs> anyway. Mope, mm. please. Can you give me a ride home? Sure, sure. Uh, Tulu? Yes. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> night people. I like him. He seems like a really, really nice guy. Okay. And I think he's attracted to you. <laughs> and madame, how would you know this? Mom, are you joking? Even the cutleries could see his intention. <laughs> oh my God. This child. <laughs> Okay, um, I made you some breakfast, pancakes and sausages. Okay, fix yourself something to eat. All right, I'll be down. I'll be down in a minute. Okay, mom. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's go, let's go. So, remember we have to keep the meeting on a friendly level. But there's nothing friendly about this meeting. They're proposing to buy my husband's shares. Look, we need to go with our game faces on. All right. Gentlemen, you will never convince me to sell my husband's shares. It belongs to myself and my daughter. Mrs. McCall, we are not asking you to sell everything. We just want to purchase a fraction of you are standing shares. I know ambitious businessmen like you. Ms. Macaulay, your company is at the verge of bankruptcy. And the story is out there that your husband took a loan from the bank under the name of the company. Eh? Now, your husband did not spend the money well, leaving the company in debt. See, take my professional advice, all right? Why not sell some of the stock Use to pay up the loan. Yeah? Is that not what a smart business woman would do? Good day, gentlemen. Good day, or you want security to see you out? <sighs> okay. What is going on? Because I know how desperately you want to pay back that loan. And this is a good offer to me. How can you refuse it? Well, this is a check of a hundred million now. Yep. How did you do it? Contrary to the rumors that my husband took the loan and misused it, he invested it in properties in Aja and Lekki. So I sold two of the properties and that's the money from the sales. How long do you think this meeting is going to take? I need to pick up Fedora by 2 p.m. Uh, well, it shouldn't take all day, but I mean, you never know with you, Fajay. Let me call April to help me pick her up. 
Hey, April. Hey, babes. Hey, hon. Can you help me pick Fedora from school for 2 p.m.? I'm going into this meeting and I don't know how long it's going to take. Sure, 2 p.m., right? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys later. No problem. Thanks, love. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Good, good. Just go. Fedora! Hi! Fedora, do you know this man? Yes, I do. He's my mom's friend. Hi, uh, my name is Mofe. I'm a friend of the family. April couldn't come to pick her up, so she asked me to pick her up for her. Okay, I'm Miss Rich. I'm Fedora's class teacher. Okay, um, let me call Mrs. April to confirm. No problem, no problem. Hello, Mrs. April. Hello? There's a man here to pick up Fedora. Mofe? He said his name is Mofe. Yes, it's fine. He's from me. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. You can go now. See you tomorrow. Come here, big girl. Oh, get it? Go. Thank you, Uncle Mafe. Hey. I hope you'll be okay by yourself. Yes, I would. But my mom doesn't like me staying home alone. She says I'm not matured enough. If she asked Auntie April to pick me up, she would expect her to stay with me. Okay, I will stay and keep you company. But I don't think she'll be too pleased with that. <laughs> You're no longer a stranger. You're now Uncle Mofe. Uh -uh. Okay. I hope you can cook. If Auntie April was the one who picked me up, she'd expect her to cook for me till she comes back. Even though she's a lousy cook. <laughs> so you're teasing your auntie? Let's go inside. Seriously, she is. <laughs> the carrots into the pot and let it boil for 20 minutes. Then mm -hmm. add the spices, cinnamon, thyme and turmeric. Then let it boil for 10 minutes. Fast. Okay, okay. You want me to add a carrot like now? Yes, now. Chefei, um... First of all, you told me to meet him and for 20 minutes. It's not getting 20 minutes. I don't think it's even 10 minutes. Now you're telling me to put the carrots inside the pot and add some other ingredients. It will, just trust me. I trust you. Like, I don't seem to get all the instructions. Who's with the instructions? Okay. Put carrots. Hey! For. You knew that I would not be home. You knew that Fedora would be home alone. You dirty, nasty monster. What? Mom! Uncle Mofe didn't do anything to me. He's not your uncle. But mom! He's a stranger. Go to your room. I said, go to your room. Tolu, I know you're paranoid. That I can understand. 
but I can assure you, you are getting me completely wrong. April couldn't pick up Fedora, so she asked me to help. When I decided to stay and keep your daughter company, it's because I wanted to make you happy. If you tell yourself that long enough, you believe it. Officer Wale, please, can you send a couple of your men to my house, please? What? Yes. I have a pedophile in my house. Yes. Please. Thank you. Hurry up, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So what's wrong with you? How dare you? What? How what dare are you? What are you trying to do? You've known you were lying on his lap when I walked in. I bet you didn't know. Mom, why are you insinuating all these things? Fedora, go to your room. Mom! Now. Tolu, what you did to Mofe was callously unfair. That man did you a favor and the only way, the only way you thought to repay him was by getting him arrested? Who are you? Did me a favor. Did I ask him for a favor? No, answer the question. Did I ask him for a favor? Okay. You didn't. But you asked me and I asked him. April, just shut the hell up, man. If you knew you weren't available to pick my daughter up from school, you should have told me, not put her in the hands of a stranger. I get it. I completely understand. But you see, the only reason Mofe picked her up was because he likes you. He likes you and Mofe is not a stranger to me. He's my friend and I trust him completely. Your friend? Yes! He's your friend, not my friend. Tolu, you should have to call the police station and ask them to release Mofe. No, not until a gynecologist confirms that my daughter's hymen has not been broken. Mm -hmm. What? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mrs. McCauley. Hello, Officer Wally. Um, so, I'm just coming from the hospital and the gynecologist has confirmed that Fedora wasn't touched. Your daughter, right? Yes, my daughter. So, you can release him now. It will be effected immediately. Thank you for all your help. That's all right. Sir, thank you. Yes. All right, you take care now. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I was just being protective over Fedora. April. I understand you're being protective over your daughter. But Tobu, you called that man a kid of her. And you even went as far as getting him arrested. You, you shouldn't judge people you don't know now. Okay, oh, all right. I overreacted. I'm sorry. 
sorry. If you want us to be besties again, you have to call me and apologize. Hey, Papa, I don't know the man. Okay, you know what? Why don't we just pretend that thing, it, the whole thing never happened? No, but it happened. Amofa is my friend. Ever since that thing happened, I have not been able to look at that man in the face. I have been dodging him. Why? I'm sorry. Oh, God, no. Please, somebody help me. Get this witch off of me. <laughs> I miss you. Why are you still up? I can't sleep. Okay. What's wrong? Chess competition is on Tuesday. The competition is between parents. Everyone in my class is expecting me to lose because you can't play chess. And I hate losing. Nobody likes losing. I wish I could help you with this competition, but I'm not Harry Potter and I can't do magic. Uncle Mofe can play chess. He told me that himself. He promised to help me win this competition. If you really want me to win, beg him to represent you. It's late. You need to go to bed. Okay. Good night. You need to gulp down your pride and go and apologize to that man. So he can insult me? No, ma'am. I'm not apologizing yes. to him. You see, that's the thing. This your ego will not do you any good. None whatsoever. And you need to end this toxic relationship that you have with it. Listen, if you won't do it for my sake, do it for your daughter. Hmm? Mofe is a nice guy. I will forgive you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The Tolu that I know would do anything in the world for her daughter. Anything at all. You ready? Tolu. I've heard you. Okay. All right, let's go. I mean. Hi, Hippo. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm sorry to come here unannounced, but um, Tolu really wanted to speak to you and um, I had to bring her here. I hope you're not mad. No, no, I'm, I'm not. It's okay. Just to be surprised. You were the last person I expected to see at my door. Are you coming? I don't want to sound rude or anything, but I will have to get dressed to leave my house in a few minutes. So you ladies need to be really quick, please. Um, came to apologize. I know I overreacted there, but I just want to say I'm sorry. It's okay. 
You were doing what a mother should, looking after your child. It's fine. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, she's, she's really sorry. You're welcome. You can leave now. Um, more fair. Um, listen, Faye, you know, she has her upcoming chess competition and um, Tolu here would like you to represent her to help Faye win since, you know, you're good at chess and everything. <laughs> An apology with a request. Hmm? You must think very highly of yourself, Tolu. Very highly. Shut the door on your way out, please. They won't be coming to the competition. Look, don't be sad, don't be sad. I'll help you, I'll go to the competition. Mom! You'll teach me. Look, if we don't win this year, we'll win next year. Thanks, Mom. Okay, darling. Okay. Let me... I'll have to teach me. All right, so, which one's which? This is the king. Yeah. The queen, okay. the bishop, the bishop, the rook, okay, and the knight. What this do you is call the knight, this? The rook. The knight that's and a, the rook. That's the rook, okay. They all, all right. have different parts. Mm -hmm. Can you learn them? Yes, I can. Mom, hurry up! We're going to be late. We would have lost that competition. Like, we already set our minds on losing. I had to come to you for a and I gave up my word and I had to keep it. You're a man of your word. You know, knowing the little things I know about you now, I feel incredibly, terribly sorry for my behavior around you. I was looking out for my daughter, but I went too far. And I'm sorry. It's okay. You need to stop apologizing. I think uh, you're just protecting your daughter and looking out for her. That's completely understandable. It shows you're a good mother. And you should be proud of yourself. So, uh, see you around. Sure. Bye. <laughs> Say bye to my girl. Mom! Sorry. 
<laughs> look at you look um i just wanted to tell you that i'm going for a meeting with barrister ken okay your food is in the kitchen make sure you eat and do your homework okay yes yes i get it and you come and lock the door yes mom okay right come and lock the door yes i would bye okay close the door all right i'm closing it Mr. Ken, I'm so sorry. It's okay. How is it? To Lou, my colleague. Mufe David. I had no idea you were the owner of those properties. I'm guessing you two already know each other? Yes. Mufe is a friend. Oh. Yeah. So, shall we? Okay. Barrister told me you lost your husband. He said he was killed by some assassins. Nelson's brother sent assassins to kill him. Nelson sent him abroad to study medicine and he got into drugs, bad dealings and was deported. Of course, Nelson was upset and threw him out the house and swore never to invest another penny in him again. His brother flew into a blind rage and sent assassins to kill Nelson. Not only to kill Nelson, but to kill myself and Faye. We were just lucky that we weren't there that night. I hope the police got the bastards. Yes, they're all rotting away in jail. But you see, that doesn't help. It doesn't solve anything. Nelson's dead. I know, but, you know, at least justice was served. I'm so sorry for everything you and Faye had to go through. I mean, it's difficult, but I'm sure Nelson will be proud of the way you've handled things since he died. Thank you for buying the properties when you did. You saved our company. I have a confession to make. Actually, I lied when I said I didn't know you owned the properties. April told me about your situation and I bought the properties to make you happy. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Oh, it's easy to save the life of a beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you. Mofa is here. Oh, okay. Um, tell him I'll be done in a minute.
Okay, cool. Nice. You know what? Let's have this discussion at my office tomorrow. Okay, good night. Bye. Hey, baby. Hey. I thought you were spending the night here. I have to go. I know you want to go home because you're worried about Faye. I told you not to worry, baby. April is there. She take care of her. I know April's there, but I just can't help it. I perfectly understand. You know what? Mm -hmm. Give me a few minutes, let me change my clothes, and I will take you home. Took so long. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm not complaining. Mm. <laughs> so, how was your <clears throat> date? I hope you had fun. You did it. No. <gasps> you bad, <laughs> bad girl. A couple months ago, he wasn't your type. Babe, you need to see him naked. His arms, his chest. Ah, oh. woof! He's that good. Hmm. Mm. I did it again, baby. Tolu Macaulay is head over heels in love with you. I told you. I told you she would fall. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> what did you do to her? Take her to the moon and back, just like you do. Boy, I told you, you know your stuff. <laughs> calls for a celebration. You really shouldn't be here, April. Tolu could walk in any moment and see you here. You know that. Tulu's not around. She's at work. I 
came here so we could plan our next move. It's not your time. What do you mean it's not your time? Are you shifting from the script? Are you falling in love with her? No, I'm not shifting from the script. But I think we should give it a little bit more time. Tolu is smarter than our previous victims. We have to thread cautiously or we lose everything. Everything we've invested. Fine. Play stepdaddy to her child. Do whatever you have to do. Just get the money so that we can get back to our world. You have one month. One month? Hmm. To convince a woman as smart as Tulu to invest in a business she knows nothing about. To invest everything she has. One man. Fine. Take three. Wakey, wakey. Mm. Good morning, love. Good morning. Your favorite chef has made you breakfast. Enjoy. Wow, made my night, now you're making my morning. Yeah, you're happy, this is all I'm concerned about. Mm -hmm. Faye says she wants to go for a run, lose some extra pounds or whatever. I don't know where she's carrying the pounds, but uh, <laughs> I'm taking her for a run. Okay. All right. <sighs> You'll be good? Yes, yes. All right. Enjoy yourself. I uh, love you. Love you too. I love you. Love <laughs> you too. Okay. I got you. Baby. Huh. 
You didn't pick any of my calls today. Were you so busy? Oh, babe, I was snowed under. I'm so sorry. What are you doing? Don't tell me you're thinking of making dinner. I want to make something for Faye and myself, um, spaghettis, but since you're here, I can make something more substantial. No, no, no. I'm not that tired not to make dinner. You just hurt my feelings. You're, you're, you're insinuating that I can not make something for you to No! <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, that's not what I'm saying. Um, mm. I mean, the breakfast you made me the other day wasn't so great. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what do you and you want spaghetti? I don't feel, I'll make I don't feel like doing anything. I, I will make you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. huh. Coconut day and night cream. Sis, oh, you don't need that. And look at you, you're glowing already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, the glow beams differently when you've got a man that cares. Ah, now I see why you dumped me. Ha ha, totally. You don't even look for me anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is somebody jealous? <sighs> Not anymore, darling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Met someone. Oh, Miss April. Mm, who is he? Well... <sighs> He's a great guy, mm -hmm. and I'm going to meet him soon. Wait, I thought you said you met someone. What do you mean you're going to meet him soon? I, I'm confused, I don't understand that. I met him online. April. And I'm traveling to go and see him. April. What? I don't trust these online relationships. Look, you don't know who you're talking to, who you're meeting. They could be mass murderers, they could be kidnappers, they could be ritualists. It could be anybody behind please, that keyboard. Please, 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 please take all this negativity away from here and, and, and put it in your pocket. Are you kidding me? You, 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 you're always, oh, always so suspicious, careful over nothing. And, and, and this is the same reason why you push people away. You, you never let anyone close enough to get to, to really know you. And then you, you get stuck in that loop of, of loneliness. Yes. And if not for me, you wouldn't have met Mofe. Hey, if, what am I saying? If not for me, you wouldn't even be with Mofe, so please don't give me that. April! I was only trying to advise her. She had no right, absolutely no right to speak to me the way she did. I mean, some Why? people do not like advice, baby. And unfortunately, April is just one of them. Yeah, I get that. I get that she is. But you know, she was just, she, she went completely off. You know, I wasn't, I just wasn't expecting that reaction. I'm really mad at her, you know? I care about her, you know? Oh, just don't know who. You're talking to you just it's it's baby come on april is a big girl that. april is a big girl she can take care of herself yes i get that still you know i still have to worry about she's my best friend i know baby we gotta go home yeah yeah uh just notice a file i need to send to a client it's not on my laptop so we gotta get it to him tonight oh okay yeah Make sure you call me when you get home. Oh, sure, baby, I will. All right. <clears throat> I will. Uh, but you yeah. understand what I'm saying about April, right? Yes, I do, I but mean, you can't just change being... April from who she is. I'm just being concerned. Yeah, She's stop my worrying best about friend. April. Yeah. You are not her mother. Oh, God. All right? It's my dear. Oh, I'll miss you. Miss you too, Kate. I'll see you tomorrow. Miss you too. Good night. Okay, baby, good night. Good night. Oh, still up? Yep. So what are you drawing? Oh, this is my best. This is me, my mom, you, and my dad watching us from heaven. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm going home. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. 
You have a good night. Good night to you. And try to get some sleep. Sure. Was it successful? I got the money. Yes! Two hundred thousand dollars in cash. Two hundred thousand dollars in cash. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you're bloody genius, baby. She loved me. She trusted me. And I deceived the poor woman. I broke her heart in that of her son. April, this isn't me. I can't keep doing this. I'm done. I know I'm done. Rich. We're millionaires. And Naira, but doesn't that get you excited? Look, April. <laughs> Unlike you, I do not care about the money. I'm not obsessed oh. with money. I only got into this because of you to make you happy. Happy, listen, and I promise you, you are making me. Happy, like I am the happiest woman in the world right now. I could just. <sighs> One last job. Okay. No problem. this behind. Let's go somewhere, any country, Canada, anywhere you want to live. Let's start a new life. Let's start a family. You know, four children, a daughter that looks just like you, as beautiful as you are. It's your dimple. April, please, let's do this. I love the idea. I do. And I promise you, we'll get married after this last job. Come on, listen, listen. No, no, I have the target already. We don't have to do much. She's my childhood friend, Tolu Macaulay. She's worth so much. Bro, I it's just <laughs>
Hey Hansen. I miss you. Because you love her. And having sex with me will mean you're cheating on her. I'm sorry. I don't know why it happened, but it just, it just happened. I'm sorry. Maybe you're confused. It's okay. That's perfectly normal. It's perfectly normal. What makes you happy? Hmm? Me? Or a widow with a child? I love you. You're my wife. I'm sorry that I cannot reciprocate how you feel about me. Thank you. You were ready to marry me. Months ago, you wanted to relocate with me and, 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 and start a new life. But you refused. You refused. All you care about is yourself, Abraham. What you care about is you. The money. Your happiness. The more money. That's all you care about. You put us in this position. You did. You never loved me. You never cared about me. I was just a puppet. An idiot you could use whenever you wanted. No, no, no. That's what I want to do. No, you were just angry or sad because you, you couldn't manipulate me anymore. Yes! Yes! Because you couldn't manipulate me anymore. That's what you're sad. Sex. I love her. She's a wonderful person. I love her daughter. I love spending time with them. I love how I feel when I'm there. I love everything to make me feel. I love her <sighs> when I'm with them. And I'm going to marry to her. Yes. I'm going to marry to her. <sighs> You're going to marry to me. <laughs> See, that's a fantasy. That will never happen. You hear me? You 
think self-righteous to know will leave what she has and marry you when she finds out what you really do for her. Did. 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 Look, <laughs> what is it going to take uh, to make you to disappear? Uh, what is it going to take to get you off my back and stay there? 100 million? 200 million? Tell me, let me write you a check oh, so you can live my life. That's my money to you. It's yours. I'm ready to give it all up. Every single penny of it, give it to you. So you live my life. Oh, oh, look, look at you. That's the thing, you think you're so clever. You think you're clever. You're, you're staying in your cocoon, playing all your little games, making all those plans. You're a damn fool! Fool! I can't believe you. Shut your mouth. One one week. That's all you have to get me my money because if not, I will open my mouth. It makes me sick to think I was ever in love with you. Ah, please, by all means. Use the bathroom. Puke if you have to. Ah! Yep, come in. I'm sorry I snapped. I'm sorry. I didn't mean half of the things that I said. I promise. And I know you don't believe me right now, but... T, I love you. And I have the utmost respect for you. Heaven knows I would put my life on the line. For you. I forgive you. <sighs> but you know I'm only looking out for you, right? I know. You've got to be careful. The internet's a dangerous place. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Don't stop it. I'm not going to let you off the hook that easy. You owe me lunch. Fortunately for you, I beat you to it. I'm presenting lunch from your favorite spots. <laughs> so, who do you sell first? Like, if you have this kind of equation, what do you sell first? Welcome, mommy. Hey, baby. Continue, okay? I'll be right back. told me everything. Um, 
What? What did she tell you? She told me about the business you discussed with her. I don't understand. Why would you go and talk to April? Why would you want to go and collect money from her? Why couldn't you talk to me? Now she thinks I don't trust you. I'm so sorry. I I just didn't want to bother you with my problems. How is me investing in your business a bother? You built a multi-millionaire company from scratch. I trust you completely. More fair. I want to invest in your business. April told me you tried to talk me out of it. She knows you so well. I'll call you back. What are you doing here? You'll stop at nothing to get what you want. You know, I always get what I want. And if I want something, I'll get it. I will not steal from Tolu to satisfy your greed. I won't. This is a check of 200 million Naira. You can have it. You can also have the two properties we acquired from Tolu. That's all I'm worth financially. If you love me, if you ever cared about me, you will let me go. You will let me be happy. Mofe. Sweetheart. I'm not a villain. I'm not trying to... Yes! That's all you've ever done. What's your schedule today? It's a little tight, but uh, I can get out if you want me to. Okay, um, I'm going to the bank this morning. I have a meeting afterwards. Um, I don't think I'll be able to pick up Fedora from school today. Oh, it's okay. Just do your thing and uh, we'll pick her up from school. Aww. All right? Thank you, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'll baby. see you later. Yeah. Okay. Okay, love you. Love have you a great too. day. And you. Hello, Mrs. Rich. Hello, Mrs. Macaulay. Sorry, I won't be able to pick up Fedora from school today, but Fedora I will just say... slumped and she has been rushed to the hospital. What? Fedora just slumped what did and she say? has been rushed to the hospital. Where? Belgrave Hospital. Please what? start coming okay. now. Okay. All right. Okay, Mrs. Rich. Hi, yes. please. Okay, I'm on my way. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. But, Doctor, how could this be? She didn't show any signs of being unwell this morning. She looked okay. She was. She was fine. I mean, there was nothing wrong with her. She was... The fact is, 
when it comes to the brain, things can change in a split second. Let me go and check and see what's going on with her. I'll update you. Miss Macaulay, I promise you I will do everything within my power to make her better. I'll be right back. Where's Fedora? They won't let me be with her. That girl, that girl's my life girl. I can't allow it. Anything to happen to her. They won't let me be with her. Look, come on, calm down. Nothing will happen to Faye. She'll be okay. What happened? She slumped in school. She, she was rushed to the ER. The doctor says she has an astrocytomas tumor in her brain. <laughs> They need to operate to remove the tumor before it grows any bigger. <laughs> oh God, they've asked, they've asked me to make a deposit of 10 million. But I'm trying to call April and she's not picking up her phone. Why, why are you trying to call April? Don't you have money in your account? What's the problem? I've got two, three million naira in my account. I gave April 50 million naira this morning for your business because you refused to talk to me. You refused to let me in. You it did. was supposed to be a secret between us. You did what? Tulu, how could you do that? April lied to you. I know she's your friend, but you don't know her. You don't know what she's capable of. She, she lied to you. What are you talking about? What do you mean I don't know anything about her? You know what? I'll do everything I can to save Faye. Just give me some time. I'll be right back. Just calm down. Don't panic. Just give me some time. Just. Oh. 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 came to bid me farewell. I'm sure you're gonna throw a party after I leave. She's not bad at all. I mean, yeah. Secondly, she's not my widow. I'm still alive and I'm very, very single. What are you doing, Mokbe? 
you should have taken the money I gave you and leave. But you chose to be greedy. Now you're gonna watch me leave with every single penny of it, and I'll leave you with nothing. If you leave with that money, I will expose you. I will tell to you everything. I will tell her that you manipulated me into stealing that money. And guess who she will No. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 What are you doing? Move back. No, 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 move back. No. No! 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 Ah! Ah! No! No! Ah! 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 Move it! Move it! Open this door, move it! Hey baby, uh, can you send me the hospital's account number quickly? Yeah, I'm on my way to the bank. I got the money from April. Don't worry about it, baby. I'll tell you all about it once I see you. The surgery is taking forever. I'm losing my sanity. Just... It's okay. Just relax. Everything will be fine. The surgery will be over pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Okay? Last time I waited this long was when my sister was having heart surgery. And she don't want to... She died. God, I just hope nothing happens to my faith. God, baby, please. Baby. Please. Nothing will happen to Faye. I'm sorry about what happened to your sister. Mm -hmm. But this is different. I know it. I have faith. Faye is a fighter. She's the strongest, bravest kid I've ever met. She'll put through this. Okay? You'll see she'll put through this. It's okay. It's okay. Doctor. It was successful. Oh, thank you, we were able to remove the tumor. And she, right now she's in the recovery room. Doctor, can I see her, please? Please, can I see her? I'm afraid that might not be possible right now. She's been through a major surgery. You know, the more she rests, the better for her recovery. Okay, doctor, I won't disturb her. I just want to see her face. Miss Macaulay, I know how much you want to be with your daughter, but I will advise you go home and come back tomorrow morning. Please. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Baby, the doctor is right. Okay, you need to get some rest and put something in your stomach. All right? Let's go home, get some rest. We'll come back tomorrow to check on her. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's go. Where's your bag?
I've been kidnapped! Help! 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 Hey, baby. Hey. I am going to my house. I want to do some things. I'll see you at the hospital, right? Okay. All right, come here. Um, you haven't told me how you got the money back from April. And while she'll want to swindle me, it's out of my own money. Um, maybe. Can I tell you all about it when everything is over? I promise you I will.
This is my best. This is me, my mom, you, and my dad watching us from heaven. Take care of her for me, okay? Bye. Why are you sounding as if you're not coming back? I'm not going anywhere. I mean, it's just... I'm just happy that she's alive. She's... well. Are you okay? What's wrong? She's kind of sad, you know? Everything she had to go through, the pain. And it broke my heart when I saw you cry. I'll be fine. Luffy, you guys are the most important things in the world to me. I don't know what I would do without you. I love you so much. I never, ever forget that. I love you. I love you. I gotta go now. I'll see you later, right? Okay. this letter then that means I've left already and I won't be coming back leaving you and Faye at a time you both really need me breaks me into pieces I did something terrible something I'm ashamed of I wish I could tell you everything but I would prefer if April tells you herself since she's the mastermind of everything the things you find out about me, Tolu, will hurt you. You will probably hate me, and I don't blame you. You have to go on with your life. I don't deserve you at all. You are better off without me. I love you so much, Tolu. I will never forget you and Fedora. I love you guys too much to ever forget about you. If you ever need me for anything at all, anything, all you have to do is call me and I will come running back to you. Love, Mofe.
I'm so sorry. It took me so long to respond to your calls. I promise you, I, 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 I didn't plan for any of this to happen. Mofe, Mofe is a devil. He was manipulating me. He was telling me that, that I should help him, you know, try, 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 try to get into your life and, and, and Faye's life. And, and I, I didn't understand why he was doing all of that. And he was manipulating me. He even had me handcuffed to the bed and then he locked me in there. I said, what you, what, what's going on? Please, Abraham, so don't sorry. touch me. <laughs> Yes, come in. Hey, so. Hello, Tolu. Hey. I'd like to speak to you about something. Okay. I'd like to speak to you about Mufe. Yeah. Do you miss him? Do you love him enough to forgive him? These are the questions you need to ask yourself. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I do love him. And I miss him so much. Then call him. Yes. Whatever he had or did with April was before he met you. And then he got your money back from her. And returned the money he took from the other women too. That shows that he's not a bad person. I don't care about his past, Hillary. He just, look, he could have spoken to me, but he just packed his bags and he left. Just like that. I totally understand where you're coming from. But thinking about it from his own perspective, that couldn't have been easy for him. If I did something like that to the woman that I love, I wouldn't know how to muscle up the courage to tell her. Honestly, I like him. Yes. He's not an entitled man. He doesn't feel like he deserves your forgiveness. That's for me to decide. You can still decide to call him. <laughs> 